Welcome all. In this lecture, we are going to solve a question based on block diagram reduction technique. So in this question, we need to just find the ratio of y1 of s that is this output to the input that is x2 of s that is this input for the system whose block diagram is shown by the help of block diagram reduction technique. <coughs> so what we need to do is we need to find the ratio of output to the input assuming that these two that is x1 of s equals to 0 and y2 of s equals to 0 because we just need to find out y1 of s over x2 of s therefore we just assume that the output y2 of s is equals to 0 and x1 of s is equals to 0 now by the help of block diagram reduction technique we just have to simplify this block diagram <laughs> let us analyze this this branch at this branch the input x2 of s is applied to the summer this output of the summer is then applied to the g4 the g4 is then directly connected with g3 in series and moving on to this path the g3 is then fed to the summer since this input is nothing but zero that's why there is no need to have this summer here because this g3 is connected directly to the summer and having the zero input so there is no need to have this summer here and we can directly connect this g3 with g1 <coughs> and also the g1 is then fed to the output that is y1 of s so let's firstly eliminate this summer so our first step is to <coughs> rearrange the components and then eliminating the summing point so let us draw the whole block diagram again so here is the input that is x2 of s which is being applied to the summer with the positive polarity now here is a path followed by g4 and g4 is then connected with g3 so here is g3 now this g3 is then connected with minus sign here so we just need to write minus g2 because this minus sign is getting multiplied minus g3 sorry because this minus sign get multiplied with this g3 so we write minus g3 after this what we need to do is we need to connect this minus g3 directly with g1 so here is g1 and here is our output that is y1 of s now here is an another branch that is this branch so this branch is taking off from this point and we can draw this branch having the gain equals to g2 and going on to the summing point by this path so this is g2 the g2 is then applied to the summing point with negative polarity so we will apply with negative polarity so this is the whole block diagram 
after redrawing it. Now we can analyze that this G4 minus G3 and G1 are in series connection. So if we draw its equivalent diagram then it will look like this. Here is x1 x2 of s which is applied to the summer. The output of the summer is then connected to G4. G4 is directly being connected to minus of G3. And G3 is connected to G1. And G1 is fed to output directly. That is Y1 of S. Now, from the Y1 of S, here is a takeoff point having the gain equals to G2. And this gain is now connected to this summer with negative polarity. So this is the reduced block diagram and it is very simple block diagram in which the three blocks are in series connection and after that it is forming a negative feedback. Since these three blocks are in series connection that's why what will be the equivalent gain of these three blocks. The equivalent gain is nothing but the multiplication of all the gain of these three blocks. So it will be equals to minus of G1, G3 and G4. So it is an equivalent gain of these blocks which are connected in series combination. So our second type is solving blocks connected in series connection. So this is x2 of s which is then directly connected with the summer. Here is the summer. It is an input. Now the summer is then directly connected with the gain that is nothing but equals to minus of G1, G3 and G4. Now it is directly been connected to output that is Y1 of S. And here is a takeoff point having a feedback gain equals to G2 and it is forming a negative feedback here so here minus sign comes now we have to solve this negative feedback system so we know that the transfer function for the negative feedback system is nothing but equals to G over 1 plus G H now here the value of G is nothing but equals to G is equals to minus G1, G3 and G4 and value of H is nothing but equals to G2. So substituting the values we get minus G1, G3, G4 over 1 plus minus of G1, G3, G4 into G2. So after simplification the overall gain will now become G1, G3, G4 over 1 minus G1, G2, G3 and G4. So this is the overall gain. So now let us 
redraw the block diagram we get x2 of s here the forward path gain is nothing but equals to minus of g1 g3 g4 over 1 minus g1 g2 g3 g4 over y2 y1 of s so this is the so this is the ratio of y1 of s over y2 x2 of s so y1 of s over x2 of s is equal to minus of g1 g3 g4 over 1 minus g1 g2 g3 g4 so this is the complete solution thank you